My dad trash picked this Jeep for my son a few months ago, and I've been slowly working on restoring it. When I first got it, it was spray painted a nasty blue that was flaking all over the place. And I've been slowly taking it apart piece by piece, getting all the paint stripped off and putting it back together. So cosmetically, I'm pretty much there. Now, if you get a little closer, you'll see that there's little bits of blue everywhere, but you know, I'm going really for that five foot look. And right now it's looking pretty good with a few caveats. So it has a left mirror, but no right mirror. It also only has one of the original four hubcaps. So this is a situation where if you didn't have a 3D printer and you don't know how to 3D draw, I don't know what you would do. You could look for a donor car on like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, but it's not guaranteed that you're gonna be able to find one. I haven't really seen another Jeep like this. I think I've found the exact model on Amazon, but there's no option to buy parts. You can just buy the whole thing for $300 or whatever it costs. So I don't know, but this is a good use case to pop out the 3D printer. So let's go see if we can work on the design. So this is what the original hubcap looks like. And this is what I drew. So this hubcap uh, shape-wise is almost exactly what I have, but instead of this little bump out on the top here, I just embedded the word Jeep because it kind of looks like a Jeep Wrangler. So I thought that would be cool. And I only embedded this like 0.01 millimeters. The slicer will not handle that. So it's just going to print this like a flat surface. But in the slicer, I can use this surface to fill in uh, a different color. So I'm going to keep the hubcap to be a similar color of the wheel, and then I'm going to fill in the Jeep letters with a black filament, and it should give it a cool two-tone look. So here's the OEM mirror that came with the Jeep. And then here's what I drew. Now, obviously this little post here is the thing that needs to be completely accurate. And then I just generally took some measurements and made a similar shape of the mirror here. So this gives me a replica of the left side of the mirror. And then what's cool is that I can just put a plane out here to the right of it, and then I can mirror that. And that gives me both the left and the right mirrors. So we're gonna get these printing. So this is the before. And this is the after. I mean, I'm super happy with how this came out. I did put my smooth plate on my Bamboo P1S. So it has a nice smooth finish. You can see some of the layer lines, but I don't really care. I think this looks awesome. And now I have a full matching set of four of them. So that is problem number one solved. So we have our before mirror and our after mirror. They look very similar. You know, the back's a little different, whatever. That doesn't matter. The most important thing is that we have both sets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hubcaps and these mirrors downstairs, make sure that they actually fit the Jeep because that's probably the most important part. And then maybe we'll worry about, you know, what do we do with this surface? Well, that turned out to be a major success. They look so good. Look at that. It was a tight fit, but they did fit very well. They're definitely not gonna pop out. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is looking great. So I stopped by a local AutoZone. I picked up some of this chrome striping. It's just a vinyl that has a chrome look to it. So one thing I did do is I made a additional body uh, that is just that surface, but I did put a one millimeter tolerance around the edge. And then I found this plugin called Shaper Origin, which allows you to select the face of your part and you can export that to an SVG. So this is what the output of that plugin is. It is an SVG of that surface of the part and this imported right into Cricut Studio or Design Space or whatever you call it super easily. So let's go down and try and cut it out. Coming down to use the Cricut, I realized I got a ton of crap here. I got multiple enders just sitting around. If you have any good ideas of things that I could do with them, let me know.
Look at that. Heck yeah. Look at how good they look. They look so good. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. It turned out awesome. Love the hubcaps. The mirrors look stock. They have the shiny pieces. My son's gonna be loving this Jeep. I'm excited. So this thing was a wiring nightmare when I got it too. So I am going to put a custom power controller in and run it off of Milwaukee M18 batteries. If that's something you're interested in, let me know down in the comments and I can post that stuff as a video as well. But in terms of the 3D printing, I think this worked out awesome. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you next time.